All right, so I've been playing a lot of Terraria lately, and there's equipment called hooks in the game, which allow you to climb onto walls and move around in a bit of a different way. So I thought we'd try and recreate this in Unity today. So in Unity, I've already got a simple 2D character movement set up and just a little field for me to walk around in. So it's just a player with his player control script, um, a ground check so I can jump, and then just a bunch of simple sprites with colliders. I'll show you the player script real quick. Um, feel free to pause it if you want to read through that or copy it down. I will have the code on GitHub though if you want to download that later on. Alright, so back in Unity, first thing you want to do is go into your player and add a new component. I'm just going to call it Grapple and this will manage everything we need to do. Once that's been created, open it up in Visual Studio. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do in Visual Studio is create some variables. So we want a public camera called Cam. We want a line renderer, a public line renderer, sorry. Call that LR. We want a public player mask. Now that has to be public. And this is going to be our mask for what we can grapple onto. So I'm just going to want to call it grapple mask. We need a public float move speed. This will be how fast we move on the grapple. We need another public float, grapple length. This is how far we're going to be able to reach with our grapple. And then we need a public int max points. And this will be how many lines we can have coming out of the grapple at a given time. We're then going to have two private variables, a private rigid body 2D. This will be what will move our character. And a private list of vector twos called points. And this will just store where our grapple is hitting currently. All right, so we, in the start function, we first want to get our rigid body. So you've got to get component rigid body 2D. And then we want to set our line renderer position count to zero. This just resets the line renderer to have no lines drawn. Alright, then come down to the update function, and we first want to see if input dot get mouse button down zero. This can be whatever button you want, it's just so that it launches the grapple. You want to create a new vector 2, mouse position, and set it to camera dot screen to world point. And we want to put in our input dot mouse position. So this converts a mouse position from a screen point to a world point. Then we create a vector two direction, and this is going to be our mouse position minus our transform dot position as a vector two, and then we want to normalize that whole vector so it returns a value between zero and one. Next, we're going to create a new raycast hit. Make sure it's two D, and set it equal to physics two D dot raycast. We want to recast from our transform dot position to the direction with a max length of our grapple length, and we only want to hit what's on our grapple mask. And now we want to check to see if our hit has actually hit anything. So if collider is not equal to null, we then want to create a new vector two hit point and just set that to hit dot point. And then points, we want to add our hit point to it, just like that. And now if our points dot count is greater than our maximum amount of points, what we want to do is remove the first point in the list. So this just cycles through the points, replacing the first one placed as you spawn in the newest one. So under that if statement, we want to create another if statement. I want to see if our points.count is greater than zero. So if there are any points in the list, we're going to create a new vector three, move two. And we're going to create a function for this, but we're going to find a centroid. So for now, I'm just going to set it to vector three, vector two dot zero. And we'll go create that function now. So we want to create a new vector two, not avoid, a vector two. 
centroid and into that we want to pass in an array of vector twos and we're going to call that points and then open that up. Now we're then going to create a vector2 center and set that to vector2.0 and then create a full loop for each of the points in our point array. So vector2 point in points and then open that up and then add each of these points to center. So center plus equals point and then underneath that center is divided equal to points dot count. So what the uh, points dot length, sorry, because it's an array, and then return center. So this just finds an average of all of the points. And then we want to add that to our move to. And then pass in our points and then change it to an array. And then we want to move our character or player to that point. So rig.movePosition and we do vector2.movetowards and we have transform.position to move to and then time.delta time times our move speed. And then we want to send our lr.position count to zero. So this just resets the lines and then set our position count to our points.count times two. And then loop through, so for int n is equal to zero. And we're also going to create a separate int j, also equal to zero. Uh, while n is less than point count times two, we want to increase n by two and increase j by one each time. So we're times it by two because we want to add the transform dot position, so our place position and the point position to this line renderer. So first we add the position and then we set this down plus one because our end loop is adding two each time we want to set points j. So this allows us to only use one line renderer to draw the lines in between. And then we want to see if input to get key down, key code dot space and we want to create a void called detach. So this will remove all the lines and allow us to move freely again. We want to create a void detach and then set our line renderer dot position count back to zero again, so clear the line, and then clear our points as well. And with that, you can head back into Unity and then set up the script. So you're going to need the main camera, drag that into the camera slot, a line renderer, so on your player, create a new effect, line, and then make sure that use world space is checked because all of our coordinates are using the world space. And then assign that to the script as well. Make sure your mask is set up. So I've got a layer called ground and then all of my objects in the scene that I want to be able to grapple to have that layer ground. And then just make sure your speed you can change, the length you can change and the max points you can also change just based on how you want it to operate. All right, so if you go and hit play now, you realize that it's really slow. So simply just change one of the variables, the move speed. I might actually put that a bit higher, yeah. And then you'll see you're able to move around using the grapple, and when you hit space, it detaches. Do you want there to be more or less lines? You can always increase the max points. So say I put five, then I can draw five different lines. It just depends on how you want it to be. And that's about it for this tutorial. Um, all the code will be available on my GitHub. So if you want to check that out, you can do that. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, we also have a Discord server now. So if you want to join that, um, I'll be able to answer your problems a bit easier than replying in the comment section. All right. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.